Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome again, guys. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture, we are going to see the third video that is regarded to the glucose 6-phosphate test. And in this video, we are going to see uh, that how we will find out the glucose 6-phosphate uh, dehydrogenase enzyme uh, using screening method. Okay. Now, uh, in the previous video lecture if you guys remember we talked about the introduction portion of the g6pd and we talked about the uh, qualitative method as well if you miss these two video lecture it is present into my channel you can go back and watch it so how to perform screening method to find out g6pd uh, so for that purposes uh, what you have to require some material so the first thing that you required is the blood in a GTA tube the second test tube, third you required methylene blue color reagent, sodium nitrate solution, pipette with tips, incubator or water bath. So these are the picture as you can see test tube with rake, pipette, editor, blood, uh, incub uh, this is actual water bath, you can also use incubator as well and these are the tips. Now let's see the principle that how it working. So in this case, what we are using, we are using sodium nitrate uh, reagent, uh, so sodium nitrate solution. So this sodium nitrate solution is actually converted the normal hemoglobin into the meth hemoglobin due to which the color is dark. And remember, when we do this, so then what we add, we add mostly methylene blue. And once we incubate the solution with methylene blue, so it will convert the meth hemoglobin to normal hemoglobin due to the presence of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme once the HB is converted uh, the meth HB is converted to normal hemoglobin so the color will be again changed so this is how these two reagents will be working let's see the procedure how how the whole method is working first of all you have to take three clean test tube and then you will label it the first tube will be labeled T means test the second tube will be labeled PC means positive control and the third tube will be labeled negative control NC now uh, then what will you do next you will have to add 100 microliter 0.1 ml means 100 microliter of sodium nitrate solution in each of the tube but except negative control tube then next what will you do you have to add 0.1 ml means 100 microliter of the methylene blue solution in the T tube only not in the rest of the two tube okay then you have to add 2 ml of the ADTA blood in each of the tube in all the three tube and then you will incubate these three tube uh, in the water bath or into the incubator for 90 minute incubation period will be the 90 minute it means uh, one and a half hour now after incubation what will you do you have to mix it the tube by inversion you have to mix it by inversion now once it is mixed then what will you do you have to label the next three tube means you have to take next other three tube a clean tube and you have to label again the same means the first tube T second is PC and the third is NC then what will you do you have to add 10 ml of distal water in each three tube as well as 0.1 ml of the liquid from the corresponding tubes means the tube which you earlier incubated so you have to take a 100 microliter liquid from each tube and then you will add into it into the next tube that contain 10 ml of distal water and then you will mix it and incubate it for two minute after two minute incubation you will check out the color changes in each of the tube so these are the interpretation as you can see so remember guys how you will find out the positive result the positive result you will uh, you can find out it then when you match the let's suppose this is these are the two tube let's suppose this is what this is the negative this is the positive and you have another uh, tube let's suppose here is another tube so this and uh, other tube is actually the test means the patient sample so what you will do let's suppose if you see the test tube 
is matching with this tube which is negative it means the result is negative if you see that the test tube is matching with this tube this tube it means the result is positive and if you see that the result is not matching with both it means that this is the intermediate result and it also means that there is partial glucose phosphate enzyme is present okay so this is how you can do the test of the glucose 6 phosphate inshallah in the next video we will talk about the rapid strip method to find out the g6pd